Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure how jumpy this will be, but if it's not jumpy, I will upload it the way it is. This is technically just a test from me. Um, <clears throat> well anyways, I'm currently rendering a video that I made and you guys will watch that soon. Um, but as I'm rendering the video, which is probably why this thing is lagging like shiz, um, <clears throat> I will show you guys how to make Jupiter on Cinema 4D. Obviously, you're going to be using... <clears throat> either of these two templates from Pixel Emporium uh, yeah either one uh, the Jupiter 2 makes it look a bit more realistic uh, Jupiter map look makes it look uh, prettier it just makes it look prettier guys <laughs> alright but anyways uh, let's continue making this <clears throat> alright so you using the Jupiter 2 this is basically what Jupiter will look like at the very end so notice how it actually looks pretty realistic uh, all thanks to Pixel Emporium guys you guys are awesome but yeah Jupiter is probably the easiest planet to make if you just use the Jupiter 2 um, composite map it is extremely easy it's all about slapping this on that ball um, <clears throat> and if you use the regular Jupiter map, it is a bit harder to make it look more realistic. But simply because you want to add more shit to it. It's already pretty. You want to make it prettier. Just add more shit to it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do both. So let's go ahead and delete this shiz from Cinema 4D. Alright, so basically first things first. Obviously you want to create a sphere. Once you create a sphere... Um, you want to make it bigger so let's go ahead and move around here uh, let's grab the scaling tool make it bigger make the sphere bigger whoa oh, okay I'm downloading Captivate uh, from Adobe I'm gonna use their trial um, alright so once you make it bigger uh, this is something you really don't have to do but I usually do it simply because I don't like seeing an imperfect sphere it bothers me so let's raise the segments. So you go here, make the segments uh, higher, uh, and then it'll look more like a sphere. So if we render this, this is what it'll look like a gray ball of doom. All right, so next things next. That doesn't make any sense, but let's go to new material. Once you create a new material, double click on the new material. Um, now this is where it gets easier and easier <laughs> you guys thought I was gonna say complicated alright so basically we load a new image into the material editor uh, we either load in Jupiter 2 or the Jupiter map I'm gonna show you guys Jupiter map first because it's a bit more uh, of a long strenuous strenuous I don't know how to fucking say it um, process of making Jupiter on this map alright so and the cool thing about making Jupiter guys uh, even unless you want to make the actual holes from the shoemaker 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 comets that hit jupiter uh... a kajillion years ago not really not too long ago um, if we're talking an aspect of how old the universe actually is whatever i'm just saying then you would add a, a bump map which you would have to find somewhere on Google because Pixel Emporium does not um, supply a butt map for Jupiter. So you can't actually make the clouds look 3D or anything. It would kind of look weird anyhow. Unless they made it very... Unless they did it well. Alright, so... Now what we do is we obviously apply the new material to the sphere. And then once you do that, uh, whenever we render it, this is how it'll look like let's actually go around and I have no clue why it's showing up like this as a yellow I mean as a white ball and it's not actually showing the material oh well um, I know what I'm doing alright so here's how it'll look like when it's fully rendered um, but we want to do more stuff so um, alright we create a new material on top of that we copy this sphere so control C and then control V we delete the actual um, Jupiter map from it from the first sphere so sphere number one um, not the actual first sphere that we made so technically let me rename this to 
Uh, rename, 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 rename. You all can tell that I've been gone for a very long time. Double click. There we go. Sphere numero dos. Okay, so we got sphere number two here. Uh, that's where you want to add the second uh, material to. Uh, then we open it up. The color, you want to sort of make it look like the Jupiter color. So uh, if we control this here, um, let's see. Let's lower you a bit. Let's raise you. Uh, lower you a bit more. Let's give you a bit more red. Alright, so uh, I think that looks close enough to what Jupiter sort of uh -uh, sort of looks like. Alright, so once we make the color like that, uh, you also do want to uh, relieve Specular off his duty. Uh, you want to do the same thing for the other um, material, which I've already done, I guess. Okay. Alright, so now what you want to do is, first of all, you want to create a fog which basically makes it into a fog and we also want to manipulate the color here a little bit just a tiny bit not too much on top of that you want to make it uh, a tr transparency so we enable that as well um, and then it'll make it look like this so uh, I don't know if I said it already no I didn't you also want to make the actual the second so sphere number two a tiny bit bigger than sphere number one not too much of a difference so whenever we render this, it'll look like this. Uh, notice the outsides sort of look like the, there's an atmosphere to it. Uh, and that's basically the purpose of it, of making sphere number two with the stupidity of the fog and a transparency. Um, so yeah, that's what it, oh, and now it's a black ball. Okay, how convenient. All right, so first white and black. There we go. Um, the creation of Jupiter. It started off as a white ball and then it went on to be a black ball before uh, it was fully rendered into our solar system and then it looked like actual Jupiter. Alright, so we're not done yet though. We are not done yet with this Jupiter. So you want to um, go back to the first material, so the material with the actual Jupiter map to it. Um, and we, we want to add a glow. <sighs> Alright. But the glow, we don't want it to be so intense. So we lower the outer strength quite significantly. So even more. And then we lower the inner strength uh, a bit as well. Uh, basically what we are doing here is uh, adding a bit of glow and, and a more atmosphere look to Jupiter. So we render that. And then it'll look like this. It'll glow a bit more, um, and then the 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 actual clouds on Jupiter are a bit uh, shinier. Um, all right. So next things next, we want to create the sun. So we create a light. Uh, of course, we're not going to make a full blown sun because it's not going to be visible. So there really is no point. Um, all right. So we grab a light. So we go up to uh, light, and then we add a light. Simple. And then we. <clears throat> drag the light over you do want to make it quite far and you do want to turn the camera a, a bit so you can uh, realize what you are doing alright so we sort of want to make it like this okay and there we go we can actually see Jupiter now as it's supposed to be seen on the actual um, on the actual program alright so now we render this and then it'll look like this <clears throat> Alright, notice how it doesn't look completely black. Um, I, I went on to fix it when I first tried to make it, but then it doesn't look as nice. <laughs> when we actually see this like this, it looks awesome. Um, but yeah, basically what is, uh, what, what is causing it, what it is, oh fuck, I can't speak, um, causing it to not look like that is first of all the glow and uh, as well as the fog and the transparency is what's causing it to not, not look completely black. It can be fixed, um, but I want to go ahead and continue to the second Jupiter. I'm going to show you guys how to make. So instead of creating two new spheres and a whole new light, let's just relieve these 
textures from duty sorry guys you guys are gone alright so we create a new material we go over to color um, of course we we're gonna upload the new uh, and like I said real leave specular do not have specular on there texture uh, load image and then we're gonna open up Jupiter too yes um, you can create a glow to this if you'd like it does kinda make it look nice as well um, but it won't look as realistic as this so we got the first sphere a second sphere we don't need we're not gonna add anything else to it uh, we do have to make sure that we do see the uh, red eye of Jupiter so we're gonna turn it a little bit and then we're gonna render it realism to the max guys that's how you make a realistic Jupiter slash uh, you just slap a texture to this ball and then bam that's simple uh, you can download uh, so notice uh, let's okay let's minimize this let's minimize that notice how I downloaded a 2k uh, version of Jupiter 2 uh, you can download a higher resolution one I'm pretty sure they have three four and six which uh, takes a while to download uh, it's just a map but it takes a while to download um, but yeah and yes we are done with this so that is how you make uh, Jupiter on Cinema 4D. The more realistic way to go uh, would be using the 2K map or the 3K or whatever map you want to fucking use. Uh, just download uh, those map. I will pro those maps. I will provide you with a link in the description, um, and I will show you guys. Actually, I already showed you guys. God damn it, Michael. Um, and <laughs> and then you could. Uh, Rewatch the tutorial. Uh, Inception is going on in my mind right now. So basically, you download those maps before you watch the goddamn tutorial. If you have gotten this far without downloading the maps, something is wrong. Okay. All right. So you download the maps. There we go. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. This has been a wonderful reimagining tutorial from Mike from like designs and the reason why I say Mike from like designs I was somehow hoping back in the day when I first started this channel that it will be a collection of uh, tutorial makers but that didn't happen uh, hopefully someday maybe it will so if you guys are interested in collaborating and being on this channel um, continuously that way we can provide viewers with much more videos to watch uh, contact me and I will consider putting you guys on this channel so thank you guys for watching please rate subscribe uh, to my channel like I said in the first video I uploaded um, I want you guys uh, to support me um, that way I can make YouTube videos as a full-time job kind of thing because YouTube is currently paying me like two cents every single month two cents a month no, actually, I'm wrong. About $3 a month to be accurate uh, to make videos, but that's because I'm not getting a bunch of viewers on my channel, a lot of subscribers. But let's make it from $3 a month to $100 someday, and then we can continue from there. Maybe $1,000 a month, $2,000 a month, $4,000 a month someday in the future, $20,000 a month. Let's make that a reality. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate and subscribe.